Hi, Dave DeCosson here again. Uh, I built a lot of uh, milling machines, but I also built some forklifts. I designed and built this from scratch. It's all made out of sheet metal. It has a uh, uh, DC uh, motor for the drive, drives a pump, and the wheels are driven by hydraulic motors. And then the cylinder lifts it up, and then there's a cylinder for tilt. And I designed it so it go through a uh, average door. And it's 28 inches wide. Overall length is about 81 inches. It'll lift 750 pounds, but if you've got somebody in the back, it'll lift 1,000. Turning radius, it'll pivot right about here, so it's got a pretty good turning radius. And uh, well, here, let me show you here. There's the, uh, and here's the height that it'll lift. It, it lifts high enough to go uh, lift it off a semi truck, and you got tilt. And uh, there's a gauge also here <clears throat> that tells you what, how much weight you're lifting. It, uh, this gauge right here. Now we uh, don't have anything around here to. Uh, well, let me show you how it go. It turns. It's, it's got very good uh, geometry. My battery's a little low. Now we're gonna do a little demo lift here. We're gonna lift up the back of this car. It weighs about a thousand pounds uh, on this wheel. So I just tilt forward on this lever here. And my wheels are coming off the ground because it, it's about 1,200 pounds. But you can see the wheels off the ground, so it, uh, with a little ballast back here, I have a, a tank that we can put on here. Uh, that we can put sand in there or, or salt. Okay, so how does this thing work? Well, let me give you a brief description. Let's open up this door here. And uh, what we see is uh, three 12-volt uh, batteries. They're deep cycle batteries. I'm using uh, Sears Die Hard because they're really a good battery. And I'm running them in, uh, in uh, series, so it's 36 volts. This is a 24-volt, one-horsepower DC motor that I run with 36 volts, which is fine, and DC motor doesn't care. And hooked to the end of that shaft is a pump. The pump is a, uh, I forget, I think it's about four gallons a minute pump. And then there's a reservoir down below. Now, my t this is my tilt cylinder here. There's an arm that goes back. Uh, there and this cylinder raises or pushes his arm up and down which does the tilt. The machine has a built-in charger sets down below here and there's a place right here where you plug in your 110 volts and it charges it. It takes about two hours to charge it and then it'll run for maybe three hours with fresh batteries and uh, that's quite a bit of work actually running three hours but uh, Takes uh, about two hours to charge it. Built-in charger. So uh, that's about it. This switch here, this tur turns on the pump. What switch? This, this red switch here. This is a disc brake here. You push this down and uh, it, uh, it locks. Well, my, it, it locks like that and so it's parking brake. So you just touch it and it releases. Steering is by chain. You see down here, there's a chain down here. As I crank it, the wheels move. And, and you can look at the geometry of these wheels. Geometry is perfect on this thing. See how this wheel is tilted more than that wheel? Well, what it is, these wheels, this wheel points here, and that wheel points here, so it intersects at the same point. Here, turn it. Steer is very easy. And then we have uh, to control the uh, the motions of the machine. You have a three-stage valve pack here, and these levers, forward and reverse, raise, lower, tilt back, tilt forward, and they all go to the various cylinders. Uh, tubes, these hydraulic tubes, go to the various cylinders and to the uh, hydraulic motors that are. There's two hydraulic motors there. Which ones do which? The hydraulic motors are act. This is forward and reverse. 
This is raise or lower, tilt back, tilt forward. Yep. That's about it. It's a very simple little machine. It's made to go into the regular average door. It does not made to go up and down stairs, so. <laughs> but uh, that's about it. Uh,